So foot straps, uh, whether you're a beginner, uh, intermediate, advanced, it's a fundamental part of your windsurf tuning on your board. Now the first thing you've got to think about is where to put your foot straps, how far away to put your foot straps in relation to your back foot strap and your front foot strap. Um, now to start with, if you're on a free, free wave board or um, a wave board, um, generally if you've got a new board, maybe just put them bang in the middle. Um, what I mean by that is either use these two or these two. Um, which is actually what I've got already. Having said that, there are two main sort of rules with uh, wave sailing. Um, the first one being when you're jumping, um, it's generally said that it's better to um, have your foot straps close together when jumping. But on the other side, if you you want to wave ride, you, you wave ride, ride more, or you like to wave ride more, it's better to have your straps uh, further apart. Just have a little bit more control because you're. You basically can get lower if you have them further apart and really drive through the rails. For me personally, how I set up the foot straps is I have um, basically not to the extremes. Um, I have my back strap sort of um, number two. So it's not right at the back. And then I have uh, my front straps um, a little bit further forward. So I have a little bit of a wider stance, but not an extreme stance. Um, I'm not a super tall guy either. Um, so basically have a play around with that and see um, how you get on. You can always move it, but yeah, obviously if you're a taller person you want them wider apart. If you're a smaller person um, or kid even, then you want it close, as close together as you can. I've heard a couple of people um, do the weird thing of uh, on one side they put it close together for jumping and then on the other side they put it wider apart for wave riding. I don't actually know if that works, I haven't tried it myself. Um, if you want to try it, let me know how it goes with that. One of the most important parts, which is basically how tight to put them around your foot. I know when you first start to get in the straps, they can be a little bit intimidating. Um, you think you're going to get trapped in them, stuck in them. But at the end of the day, if you set them up right, um, you shouldn't be scared because uh, your feet should be able to come in and out and also have grip when you're using them as well. So let's have a look at that. So the more old school way of doing it back in the day was to have your, well, have the straps basically um, in the holes a little bit further apart so they'd be basically uh, more stretched out um, which in some ways gives you a lot of grip when you're in there but it leaves sort of little room to get out so the trend nowadays and and I believe is the best way of doing it is basically to put them in the holes like a little bit close together so they're basically more of a sort of semicircle around your foot what this means is you have um, still a lot of grip whether you want to put your foot right in you have a grip in between the two or if you want to have like your foot a little bit further out you still have uh, like grip in in the foot straps um, but because it's high it means you it leaves you a lot of room to basically twist your foot in and out if you imagine if you have your strap quite far apart and you put your foot in and um, you wipe out in some way or another your foot won't actually be able to twist out if you twist your foot or if you have it nice and high uh, your foot can basically twist in different directions and get out somehow um, I've known actually two people personally who I know uh, well who have um, had um, pretty bad ankle injuries because they had their straps um, like quite quite tight actually and also quite far apart so they couldn't twist their foot out and they ended up uh, hurting themselves so, so that's the first thing I would say make sure your foot straps uh, are quite high and tight. So how I do this personally so I choose a hole to put it in so hole number three in this instance and then instead of putting it in hole number three on the other side, I'll just move it one up to make sure that foot strap's nice and high and tight. So now you've got your foot straps on your board, how tight do you want to put them? So obviously everyone has different size feet, so it's going to be different for everyone. Uh, but how I would say it is if you're on the water and um, say you, you do a jump or something like that and you feel your foot's loose, it's probably too loose. Like, you don't want to be trying to grip onto your board because you, you think you're going to slide out your foot straps. Um, but then you don't want it too tight that if you fall, you can't actually get it out. So it's about getting the right balance. Um, always test it out on the beach uh, before you go out um, and just have a feel with your foot on the beach um, to see how tight it is. A big top tip from me, if you're using kit from a water sports centre or hiring on holiday um, where it's not your kit, um, it tends to be that some people have weird foot strap positioning or they, you know, some people have big feet, some people have small feet, so always check before you go out on the water, if you're hiring, um, to basically check your foot strap size, positioning, 
um, so it's good for you so then you can have um, a more enjoyable time in the water basically and less less chance of injury if it's too tight my top tip for the foot straps also is um, say you've had sort of a few sessions uh, hardcore sessions where you've been uh, twisting a lot in the foot straps jumping wave riding always have a look to see basically how tight your foot straps are um, and make sure they don't twist at all you want to get them with the screwdriver really really tight um, reason for this obviously you don't want your straps to be twisting in the water that's not nice uh, but also um, if you have them sort of half out that means there's a bigger possibility that the, the screw can actually break. So that's pretty much it for today's video. I hope you find it useful. The next video I'm thinking of doing is going to be launching in the shore break. Um, I think a lot of people um, have requested that and I think that is quite a good idea to do. Uh, let me know if you have any questions. Put it in the comments. Message me. Uh, or if you have any ideas on what you want to see. And yeah, go and give uh, Lagoon Water Sports a subscribe. And um, I'll see you in the next one, guys.